Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik, and in this video I'll be going over the Find and Replace feature. And this can be very helpful for situations where you've completed your schedule, but you've had a character name change. Now you can globally change the character name in the Element Manager for your elements, but what about all those synopsis fields you filled out? Well, this is where the Find and Replace feature comes in handy where you can replace all those and some other fields too. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so I've got my schedule open and I have it mostly filled out. And like I mentioned, where this could come in really handy, the Find and Replace can come in handy, is if you've got a character whose name has changed. So let's say George is now Rupert. And what I can do is I can even just double click on this element and change it right here from George to Rupert. But that's only going to change it in the elements, in all the breakdown sheets. It won't change it in places like the synopsis. And maybe even there's certain sets, so you would have to go through and really try and find all those things. An easier way to do this, though, is to go up to Edit, Find or Replace. I'm going to type in George and replace with Rupert and click Find. Now, it's not going to replace immediately. It's just going to find all the places where the name George comes up. And notice it's looking at cast members, make up hair, vehicle, stunt, sequences, uh, sets even, and even in all the synopsis fields. So there's over there's 101 instances where the name George was found. Now you can refine this even further by matching the case, meaning find it only where it's upper and lower case, like I spelled it out up here, or even just the whole word, making sure that only George and not something else comes up. So, where match case might come in handy is, notice that down here in the set, um, I have all my sets in all capitals. So if I replace it with Rupert, Rupert is going to be upper and lower case. So let's go ahead and click that match case and click find again. And it removed all those instances where George was in all capitals. So now I can go ahead and replace just these elements and then I'll replace the upper one, uppercase ones in a second. So I can just go ahead and replace all, or if I need to, if there's just a few of them that I want to replace, I can select a few of them by just clicking and dragging, or holding down shift and clicking, or using the command to select non-contiguous ones or control on PC. And I can just replace those selected ones but I can also hit clear to get rid of that and just replace all which is what I'm going to do. So I click all and it's asking me to confirm that I want to replace all those. Click OK and it replaced all those instances. Now let's go ahead and type in here the uppercase only and I'm going to go ahead and hit find with match case still checked. So now I've found those remaining ones where George is in uppercase. And now I'm going to replace just those instances where uh, it's all uppercase. I'm going to click all. It's going to ask me to confirm. OK. And that's all replaced. So as you can see, that feature can be useful on a granular and global level. Now, is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks? Or do you just want to send us some feedback? You can send that to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check out entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. And while you're there, check out the community page where you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.